Marissa with The Umbrian Sewist. Thanks for joining me today. I'm here with a fabric haul. I recently, meaning got back at midnight last night, uh, went to Vienna. Um, it was a trip that we attempted to do last year in October. Um, we went to the airport for a flight. I think it was supposed to leave around seven or eight. And it kept being delayed and delayed and delayed. And finally at one in the morning, we were told that the flight was canceled. And that was that. And because we were flying from a small airport and it was Ryanair, that meant the entire trip was canceled. And the hotel was kind enough though to uh, sort of change our reservation, even though it was sort of non-refundable, non non, you couldn't cancel. And so we went this past weekend. And little did I know, but there was an amazing fabric store two minutes from the hotel that I just happened to see while walking down the street. And I could not resist going into a fabric store uh, because uh, I live in Umbria and it's lovely, but there aren't many fabric stores. There is just the one that is awesome, but it's not sort of, it's a warehouse. So it's not sort of pretty and hard to sort of see all of the different fabrics. And also most of the fabrics are all sort of solid colors. And so if you're looking for fun prints, not really any fun prints. So I <clears throat> did quite a bit of shopping. So I thought I would share that with you. Now to start off with the name of the fabric store is this, Comlica. So anyone from Vienna, I apologize, or anyone who speaks German, I apologize for my, my um, pronunciation, but this is the fabric store. I was told it is a family run fabric store. It was incredibly massive. It had like three huge floors, but I spent my most of my time on the bottom floor, which the lovely sales lady called the cheap fabric. But really it was just the good priced fabric, I would prefer to call it. So I will show you what I got. So the first fabric is this absolutely lovely um, sort of sky blue cotton, but it has a nice stretch. So it's got some spandex in it. And um, it's a nice quality. It's like thick, I would call it um, maybe like a thin twill. So it's not, you can't see through it. Um, I think it'd probably be perfect for like a dress or for trousers. Um, I believe I got two meters of this specifically to make a pair of trousers. Um, it's pretty wide and it was on a rack for two euros a meter. And um, again, super lovely quality. And I do like sort of that slight stretch because I just think it makes something just a little bit more comfortable. You can see here, even when I'm holding all of it. So yes, that is the first purchase. Probably a pair of Pomoda pants. That's what I'm thinking. Um, so that's the first item. The second item is this denim. And this is for a sew over it Sorrento jacket. And you can see as well, this has just a little bit of stretch. This is the right side. Not much, but just a little bit, which I think is nice in a jacket, especially around the shoulder sort of area. It's like a dark jean color. Um, and I purchased three meters of this just to be on the safe side. And this was seven euros a meter. So again, a really good price and um, a nice quality, I think. So I'll put that here. The next item is this absolutely, well, I think it's so lovely. It is a cream colored, again, a cotton. Let me get a piece here so I can show you. Cotton. Yes, a little bit of stretch. And it's got this lovely, um, these lines, which are like a brown and they actually, I don't know, they see they're, you could, they're raised so you can feel them. And I just thought that would be beautiful for a dress. I was thinking like a Lyra dress for the summer. Um, 
And anyways, this was two euros a meter. So I got eight meters because I wasn't sure what I wanted to make. I thought actually a pair of trousers and a top. So it could be like a coordinating set. You could wear it separately. A Lyra, maybe all of the above. But I just thought it was such a nice, interesting fabric that it would be good to get eight meters because it was only two euros a meter. The next is the same fabric as the sky blue, but in this absolutely sort of denim -y blue color, which I just love. And I got four or five meters of this, two euros a meter again. And I thought a dress, um, even though I don't really wear dresses. So I should, um, I don't know, I'm gonna try to, I wanna make the Lyra very soon because Everybody loves it, and I thought it would be, that's a really nice dress, I think, for the summer short sleeve version. But anyways, I wanted to get enough of this, so I had plenty to choose from, plenty in terms of choosing what I wanna make, and it is such a pretty blue color, and um, what a great price, huh? And then the last sort of solid is this, which I would say this is the pattern. Two euros a meter again, and it's 100% cotton, no stretch. My husband has asked me. Now, yes, this is the same husband who does not like homemade garments. He asked me to make him a kimono, which he would wear like as a robe in the summer. Now, I found that to be very interesting that someone who doesn't want anything homemade has asked for something as particular as a kimono. Anyway, he picked this out because he thought it looked quite Japanese. And the more I look at it, I would agree. Just the sort of, I don't know. And I don't even know what those are. Are those pieces of fruit? Don't know. But it's this lovely green. It is a cotton. Um, really, really nice. I would say it's a cotton um, lawn versus um, something thinner. So, yeah, it's really nice, really nice fabric. And I think that would make something nice. I did find, I'll put a picture here. It's a unisex kimono pattern. I think I will be buying this from the fold line. Um, but I think that could be a good, good one. I think he liked the look of it when he watched the sewing bee with me last year because I think they made a kimono like a traditional one. But anyways, yeah, I think that could be a nice fabric. And I got five meters of this because that's what that pattern takes. Um, but again, two euros a meter. Okay, so the next pile of things are jerseys. Um, and they were all $7.90 a meter. So the first one is this for my son. It is all sorts of trucks and things um, on a navy blue background. It is a French terry, but like a really nice, not super thick. You can see the... Um, the loops and I got one meter of this to make him some sort of sweatshirt, shirt, hoodie, something like that. Um, but he was thrilled with that. The next item I have got is this really fun, super soft cotton jersey. This I purchased two and a half meters because my husband and son requested matching t-shirts for games night. Again, another item that I have been asked to make. It is a pretty cool sort of blue background with multicolored dice. And uh, so that should be a bit of fun. The next one is a French Terry. I think these called poppets, poppets, something like that. Very colorful. I thought that was quite nice. And um, I got a meter of that. Nice, yeah, French Terry again. Really nice quality. Um, all of these are made, um, yeah, when you stretch it, you don't see any white. These all seem to be here. I'll show you the selvage. Um, made by this company. Yeah. It's called Stenzo Textiles. But yeah, really lovely fabric. Now this next one is a favorite. Absolutely love this fabric. This is a 
animal jersey. And I just love the animals. They're all how they're drawn. Um, I believe I got a, a meter of this as well um, for my son t-shirt, just a cotton jersey. But I just absolutely love the way that looks and kind of wish I got more. The next one I got a meter of is this. This is a poppy fabric. I have seen this sort of around, um, but again, just a nice um, color. It's like a minty, greeny, bluey base with lots of these trucks, which of course my son is thrilled with. And so that'll be like a t-shirt. The last one for my son is this. It's another French Terry, and it's all of these um, sort of old posters and things of racing cars. You've got like, where's the you've got like what is that the monaco grand prix in 1956 he really liked that um and i think i got 1.2 meters of this one um to make maybe like a sweatshirt or a hoodie or something and the last piece of fabric is absolutely for children but i bought it for myself because yeah, i just love it I just, I, every time I look at it, look at all the animals' faces with all the like little hats. I mean, is this a birthday hat fabric? It is. Now they had this on a navy blue base as well, but I just thought the colors and faces popped with the whitey cream background. But you've got ostrich, you've got bunnies, you've got squirrels, you've got koalas. And I just loved all of the colors as well. So I bought 1.2 meters of this to make myself a t-shirt, which, uh, yeah, I think it's so cute. Anyway, that was quite the haul, but it was super fun to be able to go to a fabric store and touch the fabric. And the selection was great and I was super pleased with the prices. And yeah, so that was my fabric haul from Vienna from this store. And so if anyone is in Vienna, this is this store is in the main shopping area, main shopping street, and it is an amazing fabric store. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed the fabric haul. If you like fabric sewing, I'd love it if you subscribed to my channel, liked this video, but I hope you're all well and thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.